Hello everyone. Today let us discuss a theorem from chapter 7 triangles theorem 7.1 that is basic proportionality theorem also known as tails theorem. Now basic proportionality theorem states that if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersecting the other two then it divides the other two sides in the same ratio. Now the given condition is that let's consider, let's consider a triangle ABC where DE is drawn parallel to one side that is BC. Then we're asked to prove that this DE divides the sides that is the intersecting sides AB and AC in the same ratio. So the given condition is a triangle ABC DE is drawn parallel to BC intersecting AB and AC at D and E. Now, to prove is AD divided by DB is equals to AE divided by EC. Now, before we do that, now let us join BE and CD. Then we get two triangles that is DBC as well as EBC. Now, we have learned in the lower classes that Triangles standing on the same base, that is here, when you consider triangle DBC and EBC, they are standing on the same base, and DE is parallel to BC, so triangles standing on the same base and between the same parallels are equal in area. So as a result, area of triangle DBC is equal to area of triangle E. B, C. Let's call this as equation 1. Again, area of triangle ABC, that is the whole triangle, minus area of triangle DBC is equal to area of triangle ABC minus area of triangle EBC. Since ABC is the whole triangle, since area of DBC and EBC are equal, so as a result, since we can subtract by the same number on both sides. So, what this implies, now, ABC, that is the whole triangle minus area of triangle DBC, leaves us area of triangle ADC. So, ABC minus DBC is nothing but area of triangle ADC. Same thing on the right hand side, area of triangle a, E, B. Let's give this equation 2. So when we divide equation 2 divided by equation 1 gives us area of triangle A, D, C divided by area of triangle D, B, C is equal to area of triangle A, E, B divided by area of triangle E, C. Now, to find the area, we need the base and the altitude. So we already got the base, so we have to dress, let us draw two altitudes. So from B, draw altitude, let's call it this as BH. And from C, draw altitude, let's call it this G. Where CG is perpendicular to AB, BH is perpendicular to AC. Now we know that area of triangle, area of a triangle is nothing but half base into altitude. So, area of triangle ADC, let's consider AD as the base, CG as the altitude. Then this becomes half AD into CG. Same thing, area of DBC, DBC, that is DB is the base, CG is the altitude. So, half DB into CG. Same thing on the right hand side, area of triangle AEB, since BH is the altitude, we can consider AE as the base, so that becomes half AE into BH divided by half EC into BH. Half and half cancel, CG and CG, BH and BH cancel, so as a result we get AD divided by DB is equal to AE divided by EC, which is the required proof of the theorem. Now, Further deduction from this theorem is that if we add one on both sides or subtract 
we can interchange it. So deduction from this we can obtain a d divided by a b is equals to a e divided by a c. Similarly, we can interchange for the numerator and denominator as well as we can get d b divided by a b is equals to e c divided by a c. In other words, we have to consider the corresponding sides only. If we consider d b on a b, then same thing. Here we have to consider a c. So that's all deduction from the basic proportional theorem. In other words, that's the tails theorem. So I think that concludes the theorem 7.1, that is basic proportionality theorem. Thank you.